Dondo Keshav Karve was born at Sharavali, his ancestral home. But he spent most of his childhood at place called Murad, in the district of Dapoli. He completed his primary education at a government school in Murad. Since childhood, Anna was very brilliant, intelligent and obedient. Apart from good upbringing, daily recitations of religious texts like Ramavijay, Haravijay and Shivalalamru, made his pronunciations clear and his language pure. It was on his guru's advice that Karve used to read newspapers in Durga temple near the school, from 5 p.m. till sunset because it was during this time that the devotees flooded the temple, which served the intention of making maximum people aware of public issues. When he started earning, Anna took the lead and repaired the decaying baton of the same temple. His inspiring life as a responsible citizen truly started from this place. He loved Murad with all his heart and hence he did a lot of work for this place through Murad Development Fund. Maharshi Karve, was a social reformer in India in the field of women's welfare. He established first women's university in Mumbai, Bombay. In honor of Karve, Queen's Road in Mumbai, Bombay, was renamed to Maharshi Karve Road. Karve continued the pioneering work in promoting widows' education. The Government of India awarded him with the highest civilian award, the Bharat Ratna, in 1958, the year of his 100th birthday. The appellation Maharshi, which the Indian public often assigned to Karve, means, a great sage. He was also sometimes affectionately called, Anna Karve, in the Marathi-speaking community to which Karve belonged. The appellation, Anna, is often used to address either one's father or an elder brother. He was also the first living Indian to feature on stamp postage in India. Topic personal life It was Murad where he spent pleasant time with his first wife, Radhabai. R. D. Carve, Anna Carve's elder son, too was born in Murad. After the death of Radhabai, he remarried a widow. This spread far and wide throughout Murad and Maharashtra. The then narrow-minded society of Murad did not accept Anna's decision. It was truly unfortunate. He took it as a challenge and eventually Pune became the place where he did most of his social work for women's education and empowerment. Topic. Career as a college professor During 1891–1914, Carve taught mathematics at Ferguson College in Pune, Maharashtra. In 1958, the Government of India issued a stamp commemorating the birth centenary of Dondo Keshav Carve. Topic. Autobiographical works Carve wrote two autobiographical works, At Mauruta 1928 in Marathi, and Looking Back 1936 in English. <laughs> Depictions in popular culture The Marathi play Himalayachi Savli the Shadow of the Himalayas by Vasant Kanatkar, published in 1972, is loosely based on the life of Carve. The character of Nanasaheb Banu is a composite character based on Carve and other Marathi social reformers of the late 19th and early 20th century. The play itself depicts the tension between Banu, Carve's public life as a social reformer and his family life due to the social backlash and economic hardships his children and wife had to endure. The film Diasparva by Amol Palkar, based on the life of Carve's son Righunath, also depicts the Carve family, and their social reformation projects. Awards and honors 1942 awarded Doctor of Letters D. Lit. by Banaras Hindu University 1951 awarded D. Lit. by Pune University 1954 awarded D. Lit. by SNDT. University 1955 awarded Padma Vibhushan by the Government of India 1957 awarded LL.D. By University of Mumbai 1958 awarded Bharat Ratna, the highest civilian award of India, by the Government of India. Documentary Toluca Dapoli, a research-based initiative, made a documentary on life of Maharshi Dondo Keshav Karve in 2017. Topic. 
See also Maharshi Karve Sri Shikshan Samsta